Hi, good day everyone. This video is part 7 of Trading Crypto with OKX series. In this video, we will learn about CryptBot, and this bot is very popular and effective way of generating profit on ranging market. If you want to learn from the beginning, then I would suggest you to check on the complete video series links on the description. And don't forget also to subscribe to this channel as well. Alright then, without further ado, let's dive into the video. In this lecture, we will learn about the CryptPod concept. Now, for example, this is the movement price of one instrument. Let's say in this grid dot, we want to run CryptPod with balance 1000 USDT. When we run a bot in this point, what will bot do is bot will split the balance into two. One is still in USDT and the other bot will purchase a coin worth of $500. Then bot will create a grid like this. A uh, grid basically is price level above and below the current price. This grid has upper range, it's the maximum uh, level of the grid and the lower range which is the minimum level of the grid. And the distance between the current price to the first upper uh, grid is for example this is 1%. That means 1% profit per grid. And vice versa, if it's below then it's minus 1%. Then both will create a sell limit order on this grid. Each of grids are $100 or USDT. There are five upper grid, one, two, three, four, five. Each of the grid order is $100. If price increase, then bot will sell 500 worth of coins five times. And bot also create buy limit below the current price, with each orders is 100 US dollar. So if price goes down, then bot will purchase five times until it reach lower range. Now let's continue the example. Price goes up and reach this level, the red dot. And what will happen? Bot will sell coin for $101. It earn profit of 1%. And the balance becomes $1,005. So how come? Now this coin, uh, we sell this coin $101 here, right? After selling, it add up to the USDT, so it becomes $601. And the remaining coin will be $404 because it increased for 1%. Now, if you sum up the 601 plus 404, it becomes $1,005. After price increase on this point and take profit, on this below level, uh, the pot will open another buy limit order for $100 and so on. Now suppose the price goes up and reaches the second and third level of the grid. Then CritBot will sell on both levels, profiting 2 and 3%. And the balance become 1,012. The bot sell two times on two grid level and add up to the USDT on the left. If you add up, then the balance will be 1,012. And what happened next, those empty two level of grids will be filled with another buy limit order for each $100. So the buy limit range will getting wider and the sell limit range is getting smaller. Now what happened if the price suddenly moved downwards? Like this. What will happen when the price fall like this? Both will make purchase on every grid level until reach the lowest grid. Now what will happen then when price goes up and based on the grid level, pot will sell what it has been purchased. Then the balance will increase to $1,025 with some of the coins sold and add up to USDT on the left side. So the total profit plus $13, so it add up and make $1,025. And after selling, pot will fill in the empty grid with buy limit orders. I hope you now get the idea how grid pot works. Pot will make buy and sell orders as long as the price movement is within upper and lower range. What will happen when the price goes beyond the upper range? For example, like this. Pot will sell all the coin it has. Price goes beyond the upper limit. And all those grids are filled with buy limit orders. Now if you take a look at the balance, all become USDT and coin will be zeros because all has been sold. 
when price goes beyond the upper limit, then what will happen? The bot will just do nothing. And you'll get a notification on the platform saying that the price is already above the range. What we'll do is we can uh, stop the bot and reset and set up a new one. Now let's continue the example. What happened if the price suddenly uh, moved on like this? Extreme one. And what will happen? Bot will again buy all those grid level goes down all the way to the bottom. If bot purchase all the orders, then the average cost is right in the middle. And we suffer loss, the balance will decrease. The bot will then do nothing because it's out of its boundaries and we can reset the bot again. Now let's get back to this type of bots. If you see all those four types of bot in OKX, they are still using the same concept. But the main difference is what I highlight in yellow. For spot grid bot, it can only be profitable if the price is in uptrend. For feature grid bot, it has a uh, leverage, so it's more dangerous than the spot grid. It trades on both ways, uptrend and downtrend, and there is risk of liquidation. And for infinity grid, you can earn profit only when it trades uptrend. Then you can only set the lower range because it has no upper limit range. And the last bot is smooth grid. It's basically similar to the spot grid bot, but it has a wider price range compared to spot grid bot. Now let's learn how to use Gridbot on OKX app. From the main page of the OKX app, you can tap the middle menu twice and tap for trading bots. Then you can tap Gridbot here. Then you'll see four types of Gridbot I just mentioned on the previous lecture. If you see the number on the right, you can see that the Spot Gridbot is the most popular type of Gridbot and then followed by a future grid bot. And the rest, infinity and moon grid are probably not really popular compared to the other two. Now let's go to spot grid bot. To simplify the process, you can use AI strategy. Uh, under the AI strategy, you can find a midterm sideways trend. It is for one until two months and short term for seven to 20 days. And the next is long term, moderately conservative. It's for three to six months. You can find also the backtested APY, which is 36.24% if using this strategy and so on. To use this bot, simply tap copy here and set the amount. Let's say I key in $1,000 here and tap confirm. Some of the uh, parameters you may notice here is profit per grid, which is 0.4 until 1.5%. Well, this is not a set stone parameter, but our recommendation is you can use a profit per grid range between 0.5 until 1.5% and grid quantity 50 to 100. Another option is actually we can copy the setting to manual. Just simply tap here, then all the parameters will be set up by the AI filled in to the manual setting. If you want to change or modify it freely to do so. And then set the total amount you want to invest. In this case, uh, minimum is 73 USDT for setting up a grid bot in PTC USDT. Okay, it's very simple and just tap create and the bot will run. Okay, now we move to the second bot, which is future grid. The parameters of this bot is more or less the same as the spot grid bot. And there are three types of AI strategy. One is for long in bullish trend. With, you can see here the leverage is 10x and profit per grid between 5 to 6 percent. The price range uh, between 67k to 78k with grid quantity of 22. Now we have also the short in bearish trend with the same grid quantity and it's a short direction with 10x leverage. Next we have flexible hedging is for neutral or sideways um, price movement with 10x leverage. Well, in this case of Bitcoin uh, grid bot, backtested for long, it has the highest return because currently Bitcoin is in bullish trend. So if you want to choose grid bot, then of course you have to choose according to the trend. Okay, now I want to show you the manual setting here. You can find the direction, which is uh, long, short, and neutral. You can set also the price range, grid quantity, leverage, and also the margin. Next, we go into the infinity grid. Now this bot works in spot uh, market only and the unique uh, parameter is you can only set the bottom price and profit per grid so it has no upper limit. If you tap here the copy AI strategy then it has only one uh, setup which is for long bull market. 
If you tap it, you can find the parameters for bottom price, for profit per grid, and also to set up the investment amount. To start the bot, tap create. And the last one is moon grid bot. The main difference of this bot is the price range parameter, which is very wide, starting from 28.9k to 118k. To start the bot, just simply uh, set up the amount and tap create. Now this moon grid has no AI setting, so to set up the bot, you need to set up manually. Now let's take a look at the example of uh, my bot, actually. <laughs> uh, you can find it here. Tap this my bot. And here you can find my bot I just created. Uh, spot grid bot I just created today. <laughs> and below is the spot TCA Martin Hill. Oh, this is uh, another bot. We learned on the earlier lecture about this. And the next one is moon grid. This moon grid I have set up the bot for five days. It's running for five days now with 2.4% profit. Next is I run also the spot grid bot for RT USDT. The result is not uh, really uh, good or satisfying. If you take a look at this uh, bot, it runs for almost uh, more than five days already. Next is XRP bot. This is uh, I run Infinity Grid bot on XRP. It runs for five days and it gives profit around 7.9%. Grid bot is a very popular bot in OKX app, and there are four types of grid bot in OKX: Spot Grid, Future Grid, Infinity Grid, and Moon Grid. Before we continue, we have a special offer for you. You can get a 10% cashback for every transaction if you open account using this referral code Kickback10. These four bots are actually using the same concept, but they are different in parameters. For spot grid bot, the bot will buy low and sell high. That's it. That's the main concept of it. And because it runs on the spot market, it has relatively low risk and because there is no leverage used. It can only earn profit from the uptrend market. Or in ranging or sideways, you can still get profit, but not in downtrend market. It is suitable for short, medium, and long-term investment. For future grid, it usually use leverage trading and it can trade downtrend or uptrend because in both direct and since this bot runs on future grid, it has risk of liquidation and it is suitable for short and medium investment. For infinity grid bot, it runs on the spot market so there is low risk uh, because no leverage. You can earn profit only when the market is uptrend and it has infinite rate because no upper limit and suitable for long-term investment. And the last bot is moon grid bot. It's a buy low and sell high, wide price range in a volatile market and suitable for medium and long-term investment. That would be the end of part 7 and on the next part we will study more about slicing bot. Thank you for watching guys and if you like the video you could just hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. My name is Tommy Yu and have a good trading day. See ya!